going downhill again. Oh. We came back with a little damage. <laughs> back in Covina, I find the Mustang disassembled. That's part of part of racing. Tell me what has to be done on the car. Obviously, it's hard. Um, nothing major. You know, both rear quarters get banged up. One has to be completely replaced. One of the doors gets replaced. Both fenders get replaced. The nose and the tail <laughs> got scuffed up, and we'll probably use those. But uh, you know, other than that, just just a couple weeks worth of work to do in a week. There's piles of Mustang bits to be replaced or inspected. Watching a preview of E514-1872, produced by the Barber Driving Experience. So we're back in Long Beach. Where for 51 weeks a year, you can just get away. But for this one week, the town adds those unforgiving cement walls. And prepares for sports car wars. At Long Beach, the paddock is located indoors, sharing the convention center with a lifestyle expo. And that expo adds lots of entertainment for the thousands of spectators. But you'll find the diehard race nuts using every single minute to prepare for the Sunday afternoon race. We're still, we're still on top, but now we got more guys knocking on the door. What did you set the tires at? Uh, we're at, uh, we, did drop we dropped down. them, yeah. 22 all the way around, left rear is at a 20. We're gonna be fast, we're gonna be smart. Yep. All right, just play it smart, watch out. We need points. We need points, we need prize money. I know, you know too. You guys getting ready to head down already? Yeah. Fuck, man. So I'm giving you a hug. Car's out there, it's warmed up. Tracy's ready to strap you in every now. So, all right, buddy, we made it, we're here. Front row again. Get used to it. <laughs> Go get the buggy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Don't start that shit. Come on. We, we gotta get through this. We gotta get it. Do 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 A horse is a horse, of course, of course, but I'm not going to a horse, of course. Unless, of course, the famous horse is the famous Mr. Adam. We don't have a flag girl, so maybe I have to... No, we'll find you a flag girl. 
Can we just race cars? <laughs> Can we just please race cars? Come on, I want some champagne. Let's go. Radio check, Paul Brown. Got radio. Gary can hear you. Let's hope we don't burn up that front lap. I gave him more splitter. Y'all strapped in, got the drink tube on. Yeah, Carrie sent out for ice cream. We've just been waiting here. Everybody's falling asleep, so, you know, wish you guys would hurry up and get this show started. But now, the games are over. Chris, Casey, got your ears on. Canners up. You guys got anything going? Yeah. Chris full. Mindset is full. Okay. Paul again has a great start and leads the GTS field into turn one. Von Klug is on his bumper. Chasing the GT class Volvo, Paul begins to stretch a few car lengths. Both crews are keeping track of the gap in time. You got live timing, you all still at the same split. 1.5. Halfway through the race, and Paul has stretched his lead to four seconds. Piece of crap. Ah, push your fluid out the tranny. And that fluid is filling up Paul's footwell. Harry, how much time? Okay, it's looking like Von Kloon's tires are done, so just be smart and you just keep it together. That's easier said than done with the footwell and the pedals covered in clutch fluid. And now, it's done shifting. Coming in with that, didn't copy. Clutch pedal. Sensing blood, and he closes fast. Bad tires and all. Fuck! 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 Get a third if you can, or whatever. Get a third gear, get it in here. Just get that thing around, you got like one left. Like a boxer with a broken hand, Paul watches helpless, unable to defend himself. And there's nothing anyone could do to help him. What's that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. He hasn't had a clutch for what? A few laps. You did it, buddy. Hey, you brought it in. But we, we got it. We got it. We got another. Dose, yeah. Ready, been at work Do it all again in a couple of weeks. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. It was in the bag. You owned it. You were driving like a rock star, man. You were driving like a rock star. I'm down in town, guys. That was Paul's 50th start in World Challenge competition. Although second is a fantastic finish, he had to be disappointed. While most of us waited in the pit area for post-race inspection, Paul gets to relive those last laps again for national television. Trying to keep a smile 
Everyone around Tiger Racing, and in the whole paddock, knew Paul had driven a winning race. Paul has now recorded the fast lap in all three races without a win. While Paul plays the media game, Adam Chris and the rest of the team walk the Mustang through SCCA Tech. Meanwhile, back in the paddock, Paul's meeting some fans and supporters. Even the officials are expressing their personal frustration in watching what happened. Inside, I'm feeling hollow, knowing my friend Paul is tortured about the big one that got away. But then at about 11.30 at night, I received this text. P1 means position one, and at the end of the race, that means you win, two gear tranny and all. So I've got to ask, do you believe in fate? Maybe for the Boss Mustangs, it's 1969 all over again. You're watching a preview of B514-1872, produced by the Barber Driving Experience. Nestled within eyeshot of San Francisco Bay, some of the hills on the north are covered in some very coveted tarmac. Formerly called Sears Point, the hills of Infinium Raceway bring complex challenges to the drivers and the car setup. It's Saturday morning of a double race weekend. And we're greeted with fog. Despite it, all things normal happen around the pit. We had a couple of throw out bearing failures. We've actually replaced the whole system with, I believe, a tilted throw out bearing. So it's all on its own separate reservoir. We can bleed the clutch every time we come in. Soon enough, it's time to hit the track, and Pregrin is in full swing. The GTS teams are relaxed and just hanging with friends and crew. You're watching a preview of B514-1872, produced by the Barber Driving Experience. There is a time where the drivers just think about driving. And for that brief moment in time, the world is a simpler place. And crew chief Adam Cox understands this. And he doesn't waste Paul's time with unneeded chatter. He's just there for him. I think they're going to throw us all out there together. Hold on, I don't want my wheel on. All right, just going to lay down a lap. Try to get this done in three. He's probably gonna do one recon lap, feel those front rotors, and try to freaking lay it down. 
about three or four, so. If I get feedback, the one thing we can do is come in for pressure, so if we feel that that's necessary, that's all we'll be doing. Really, really what most of these guys need is time on this track. It's a hard track to learn. And with Foss and Cunningham right behind Paul in points, everything becomes a strategy. Eric's right behind you, so you might want to keep that in mind. Eric still has about 10. Then right by the pits, this close call. You're watching a preview of B5141872, produced by the Barber Driving Experience. So a long-standing tradition at World Challenge is the driver autograph sessions, which for me provides a target-rich environment. Wow, I think I need to meet that girl. So it seems there's something for everybody during the autograph sessions. Mm, almost. I can right here. Even the drivers. Thank you, Pirelli. Race time approaches, and the conditions have radically changed. The morning fog's been replaced with blazing sunshine. It's probably 20 degrees warmer, and twice that much for the track.